welcome back to Cooking with the Town 2. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to know whenever new content is available, please hit that notification bell. Hi gang! Today we're making fathead dough brownies. You heard that right. Fathead dough brownies. I found this gem of a recipe off of Pinterest Ooh. and I said, why not? Boogie. Thanks. That's my three-year-old. <laughs> That's his new favorite word. Boogie. <laughs> so we start off mixing our dry Boogie. ingredients first. Thank you. Little Boogie. one. Boogie. We have two-thirds cups of almond flour, a half cup of sugar substitute, a half cup of cocoa powder, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a big dash of salt. And we mix those ingredients all together to make sure they're well incorporated with each other. We want to get out any clumps and lumps and chunks because the baking powder, it, can, it becomes a little bit clumpy. And so we want to make sure we get that all mixed in very smoothly. All right, so next we're going to start off with our fathead dough. I used about four ounces of cream cheese, six ounces of shredded mozzarella, and we put that in the microwave to melt it to a nice consistency. Now, you have to go back and forth between the microwave to make sure it's melted to your liking. Um, I probably could have melted it a little bit more, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> so I mix in my large egg the and my end. cheese mixture. The end. It's not the end. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> so end. I mix it in with my the cheese end. mixture to make sure our batter is nice and smooth. We take our dry ingredients and we pour in our fathead dough batter. Now, this part is where you put in the real work because mixing this dough together yeah. is not easy. Um, it takes some work. And as you can see next, I had to bring in the hubby to get this mixed in together because my dainty wrist would not allow me to get a good mix in on this. Um, so this is what it looks like. Now, I like chocolate, so I had to add in some sugar-free Hershey's syrup to the mix for a little extra punch there um, and mixed it up together. After mixing, I grab my well-greased baking dish and I evenly spread my dough in the baking dish. I topped it off with sugar-free chocolate chips, but you can get creative as you want. We put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes, and it came out quite lovely. It was nice and moist, and we paired it with a glass of Booty. almond milk, <laughs> and Booty. it was quite good, so I hope you enjoy. Enjoy, please subscribe, enjoy.